BBS. BBS. Black Burke Sugar, Bachelor's in Boxing Studies. Television! Fred Sanford of the Fisher Arts. When all is said and done, there's nothing left to say or do. Read BBS. BBS. Once upon a time, Keith Thurman was undefeated. Once upon a time, Keith Thurman was unified welterweight champion of the world. Once upon a time, Keith Thurman was on the precipice of pound for pound lists, maybe bottom of some pound for pound lists. His peak was the Danny Garcia win. Let's, let's, let's put it that way. Seven fucking years ago, I might add. And yet here he is, or here he was, as the case may be. Keith Thurman, Keith once upon a time, Thurman has a biceps injury that forced him to withdraw from his Las Vegas pay-per-view championship headliner versus Tim Zhu. And just like Ali didn't have no quarrel with them Viet Cong, I ain't got no quarrel with Keith Thurman. I really don't. But that said, he can no longer, I mean, no longer be trusted as the A-side of any pay-per-view main event ever again. Like ever. I was shocked when the zoo fight came about at all. With Thurman's name first on the poster, like that, that was shaky right there. And now this. I was pleasantly surprised by the notion of Thurman versus Zoo. But just like it always is with Keith Once Upon a Time Thurman post post unifying with Danny Garcia, uh, you, eventually you get left hanging. You get left hanging by uh, Keith Once Upon a Time Thurman. That's just how he rolls these days. Tim Zoo. His comment was, I'm used to the word pullout. Thurman, Charlo, Zarafa, Lubin, and as always, the show goes on. See you all March 30. You got to love his response, man. You have to love that. So in steps, the towering inferno, Sebastian Fundura, 20 wins, one loss, one draw, 13 KOs. Of course, he was... Famously and comically KO'd by Brian Mendoza, where after getting dropped by a big hook, he's sitting there on the ground on the canvas, looking up at the ref with a grin on his face, having some drunken conversation with him. But it is what it is. He got caught with a hell of a shot. And it was actually a bit admirable that he was even sitting upright at the time he was uh, counted out. Fundora was supposed to be fighting Sergey Bohachuk, on the undercard of this bout of Thurman versus Zoo. So they've just moved him over to uh, fight Zoo. Now, the thing is, Fundura was fighting Bohachuk for the vacant WBC Super Welterweight title. Now he's fighting for Tim Zoo's WBO Super Welterweight title. And uh, not that anyone gives a fuck, but this will probably go down as a unification bout, WBO and WBC, even though their sanctioning bodies would uh, prefer their belts be splintered. Let's just put that out there. Thurman, uh, yeah, you know, they were talking it up. Him and Zoo had a funny, their press conference was okay. Then they had a real funny uh, video cast on Sean Porter's bro uh, podcast. They was making each other laugh and shit, going back and forth with some good natured shit talk. They actually got along more than they wanted us to believe. But at one point, Thurman said he was hungry. And Zoo latched on to that like a piece of meat. Saying, hungry? You've been on a five-year paid vacation. What you mean, hungry? Even Porter laughed at that. So it's fitting. It's fitting that Zoo said that to, Porter, uh, to Thurman's face, practically. Not even a month ago. And now we're here. To me... Thurman versus Zoo, it reeked of a cash out for Keith Thurman all along. It just did. And uh, I mean, my man can't even remain healthy enough to make it to, to make it to the cash out. On that note, all eyes are on you, Ryan Guy, Ryan Garcia. In that same regard, I feel like you're just trying to cash out, but will you make it to the cash out? I don't know. So here you go, Zoo. 
uh, 12 days notice. That 35-year-old inactive motherfucker that was moving up in weight that you thought you were going to fight March 30th. Yeah, scratch that. Scratch that. Instead, you're fighting a 6'5", 6'6", motherfucker. 8 inches taller than Thurman. 11-inch 11 11-inch 11 reach advantage over Thurman. Volume punching southpaw, motherfucker. You're fighting that guy instead on 12 days notice. All bullshit aside, just as I had Zoo beating Thurman, I feel likewise about Zoo Fundora. He'll just have to approach it altogether differently. That's the rub. But it does. It says a lot about Zoo that he's even accepting this. Men with lesser belief in themselves would have been like, shit, fuck that. Uh-uh, I'm out. On this shorter notice against an opponent that that diametrically opposed to who I've trained for this whole time, now nah, I'm out. It remains to be seen how the T-Mobile live gate in Vegas looks and the Amazon Prime viewership numbers because this is their pay-per-view launch with PBC. Their launch for this shit. But on some, the show must go on by uh, Viva Tim Zoo for real. Viva Tim Zoo. Dennis Hogan, Terrell Gachet, Tony Harrison, Ryan Mendoza. The way, the way that Tim Zoo disposed of Ocampo. Fight by fight, he's stepping further and further from his father's shadow. He really is. And whooping Thurman's ass, it would have propelled Zoo even further. But last minute in the 11th hour, Sebastian Fundura, he'll do. And he'll make for a competitive, entertaining scrap, a fun scrap, in the process of getting stopped. Read BBS, BBS. Black Burke Sugar, Bachelors in Boxing Studies. Television! Fred Sanford of the Fistic Arts. When all is said and done, there's nothing left to say or do.